Dear Diary, Today started like any other day. Wake up, take my pills, wait for them to work, get up. Well, I didn't get up till probably around 11.30. So I slept late. I'd wake up and off and on all night long. But when I got up, for some reason, I had energy. I have no idea where it came from. But I sure took advantage of it. My garage has been needing to be cleaned out for a long time. Did I get it finished? Oh, no, I did not. But I got started. I got about half of it done. And even when I got through, I still had energy. Fibromyalgia is so freaking weird. I don't understand it. I don't know why one day I'm down, I'm hurting so bad, I can't see straight. And then the next day, I have so much energy. Of course, I'm still hurting, but nothing I couldn't handle. And I had um, ablation on my upper back, so it helped that from hurting so bad doing things. The nerve ablations I get done on my back and neck are wonderful. I know some uh, people don't like them, and I've heard, I haven't really researched it a whole lot, that it can hurt, but listen, I'm doing anything that my pain management doctor asked me to, and I tried it, and this is the second time that it's been done, and it is such a relief. I mean, and when it comes back, It's like, oh my God, where'd that come from? Because you forget how bad it hurt before. And then when you don't have that pain, it's just wonderful. But boy, when it comes back, you sure don't remember what it feels like. And then bam. But I had my, the middle of my back done, so it's feeling really good. And I'll be going back to the doctor to schedule for the other parts of my back. And when it's all done, as far as my pain in my back, I'm a new woman. I can do things without having to sit down or take extra medication to make it go away. And it never does make it go away. It takes the edge off. So you're not, you're not wanting to just lay down and die because it hurts so bad. So I, um, I'm going to keep getting them as long as they work. I just want to be out of pain. So as far as I'm concerned, as long as they work, I'm going to get them. And if something comes up and they're not good for you, well, oh well. But as far as today, yay, thank you, Lord. Thank you for my day. I just, you know, right now my my arthritis in my hands are killing me, but I don't care. I had such a great day, and they they are so far and few between. I really wish those two months would come back, but listen, I'm taking every day the Lord gives me, I'm going to take it and run with it. And I know, and I even tell people, other people with fibromyalgia, don't push yourself. Take a break. But boy, when you get that kind of energy, you just, you want to get stuff done that you, you can't normally get done and it just backs up and it just feels so good to be able to actually do something, even if it were, even if I didn't get it completed, which I'm praying that tomorrow I wake up with just as much energy so I can finish that other half. Because completing something is so rewarding, especially when you have fibromyalgia. Because you don't just have fibromyalgia. There's so many things that come with it that are separate. And so even sometimes I'll have a really good day, but my IBS will be acting up. My arthritis will be acting up. Um... My thyroid goes off kilt. You know, it just, it, 
there's just so many things, but it was a wonderful day today, and I'm I'm going to take it, and I'm going to go to bed and hopefully get some good rest and get up tomorrow and finish that other half. I just have to remember that if I get up in the morning and I'm down, then I just, I have to accept it and not get discouraged or upset or just I have to accept it because if I don't, then the stress of not accepting it makes my fibro worse. So, but I just get so excited when I get a, a good day and I want it to go to another good day because usually when the weather changes, it I go down when it changes this drastically. I mean, you know, when you're 71 at night before and then last night, you know, it gets down to 30s. It just, it just wipes me out. But today it didn't. And I, <laughs> I'm just so happy. And I'm going to take advantage of it and... I'm not going to worry about tomorrow until it gets here. I can still pray for it, hope for it. We'll see what happens. But as far as today goes, I had a wonderful day. And I really pray that everyone out there that has fibromyalgia has a day like I did today. Because it gives you hope again that you're not going to be down forever. You're going to have good days, and you're going to have wonderful days. And you're going to have those days that you go down, and you usually have more days down than you have up, but take them when you get them and run with them. Okay, diary, I'm going to bed with happy thoughts. That's all I have for now, diary. I'll write again later.